Hey, good morning. It's Betty. And it's been a couple days since I've posted anything, and that's because I've been painting. I've been airbrushing, and I'm making a video on it, but because it takes so long, I really don't want to make a multi-video episode thing on painting a jacket because what fun is that? I want it all together and it's taken a long time to do. It's gonna take me, who knows, hopefully it won't take too long but I'll make other videos <laughs> in between then. Let me show you what I got so far. Just a sneak peek that's uh, I'm painting a trench coat. I know it might look like a mess right now but this is a uh, green lion biting the sun and this is gonna be a phoenix right here but my airbrush broke it just stopped it was spraying like big clumps like when I would push how an airbrush how my airbrush works is it's like called dual action and when you push it down air just comes out when you pull it back that's when the paint comes out well mine the paint was coming out just all the time when I just do anything. If I push the button down, paint comes out, pull it back, more paint comes out. I needed to make some fine lines because this uh, phoenix turned out a little bit smaller than I hoped it would be. So I'm trying to make some fine airbrush lines and it's just spraying out big clumps of paint. I don't want to ruin my jacket. So today I'll show you how to clean an airbrush and put it back together. Sorry, the light's really bad in this kitchen, but I got it shining down so I can see what I am doing here and thankfully I uh, put a paper towel down before I started. I thought it just needed a cleaning and so I was washing it in the sink and um, and so I took some pieces apart and I noticed that the trigger was broken. There's a little pin and it is so tiny. Let me show you. And it is just amazing that I did not lose this. Oh, I don't know how, but see right here, this little piece here <laughs> is the pin that goes, it hooks this and this together. This goes in here. Can't even see it on my glasses on. But what happened is I knew that this is two pieces. It's like, well, I knew it pivoted on this little pin. But when I took it out of heat, out of the brush, it goes down in there. And there was only this part. So I swore I lost it. And I was like, oh no, now I'm going to have to go buy a whole nother trigger assembly for the airbrush. And I looked really close down in there and this was actually still stuck down in here so I got the tweezers and was able to fish it out this way. I went in here and picked it out through there and got it out. So we're gonna I go out to the garage and grab a cup of acetone soak these parts in it and clean them up with my little airbrush brushes and then we will reassemble it so i'll be right back oh so now we've been spilling soaking for a little bit and ooh, i was about to just throw that away and get a new clean paper towel here and lay all these parts out. And clean them up.
first pieces we need to install back in the airbrush. This should go, see how it's kind of small on the top and wider on the bottom? That's this part goes. So it sticks out a little bit. So if you tip this, Easier to fit in. And it should just fit that in there like that. And now we will assemble these three pieces and drop them straight down in there. pin in The slot goes, runs along this way so that a needle rides through it. Ah, oh, shoot. See, it fell off in there. So we'll try it again. assembled here. I don't want to tip it because I don't want the pin to fall out. It's very loose. I thought about putting something to hold it in there like um, Vaseline or something but it I don't want that to mix with the paint and mess up my painting. So we'll get that so it pushes straight down in there. Let's see. You can see this back and this holds it and now these are the two parts that come next the spring and this little piece that screws in behind it to hold it in place so we just slide the spring onto here and then we screw this in Should go up and down and back and forth. All right. Now next is the needle. Be very careful. Slide it in this end without hitting it in the side because you don't want to bend it or break it and it should go all the way as far as you can push it and then we have this little nut that screws on so the pointy part of the nut points toward the back of the airbrush and you just screw that on as tight as it goes And now 
the needle. Should move it back and forth. See the needle going in and out. And then we just screw the back on it. And this right here just uh, dictates how far back this will pull. So if you tighten this, this won't go as far back. It just keeps, if you wanted, didn't want to accidentally pull too far and make big giant clumps come out, you can adjust it that way. And now the front. I mean, I'm not a professional airbrush person. I don't know everything about these things. And so if you want to really know, I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there. I just found this opportunity to clean and show you how to do this stuff and figured I'd share it with you. I just want to make sure all your pieces are clean and free from any kind of corrosion or damage so that it's not going to clog up. It's not going to keep the paint from... We want the paint to flow through the airbrush without hitting any dirt or debris. So. Everything should be totally clean. And this is just like a little protector to protect that needle. And there we go. Well, let's see if this works. better than it did. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to get some more of this done. So thanks for watching and um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.